Hi and welcome to a brand new series of Rockin' the Planet. I'm Shane and I'm so glad to be back with you to share some of the cream of New Zealand's musical talent. And whether it's jazz, blues, rock and roll, folk music, we've got it. This week, my special guests are both talented Kiwi singer-songwriters. First up, it's a little bit country with a country gentleman, Mr. Glenn Moffat. Hard on his heels, we have former frontman for the 80s band Coconut Ruff, Andrew McLennan and his friends. But first, let's see who's been rocking the planet for this week. Frightening news this week for ACDC's frontman, Brian Johnson. Sadly, the band has had to postpone their final 10 dates on their American tour. Doctors have advised Brian to cease working immediately or risk total hearing loss. This latest spanner in the works continues a run of bad luck issues for ACDC. And that takes me to my first guest this week. I am so excited. We're on the road again and we're with Mr. Glenn Moffat. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Lovely to have you here. Welcome to back to New Zealand. Thank you. Because uh, you're based in Australia at the moment, Yes, Brisbane aren't you? now. I've been in Brisbane, Brisbane for 14 years. And you were, you were born and bred here? Born and bred here, yeah. It's sort of a Kiwi bred banana, really. Aren't That's you? right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's lovely to have you back here in New Zealand. I'm so glad we caught you before you travelled back to Australia. Yeah. Now, um, you've been over here. You had a whirlwind tour? Yeah, a whirlwind tour because I was doing the Stetson Club. Um, they do a festival every year and I was booked for that so I thought if I'm coming over for that I'll try and tie some other gigs in around yeah. it. So we did uh, Napier and Tauranga. So and we went home. Brooklyn. Yeah, we went back home for the first one, yeah, yeah. and Napier was great. Yeah. The and Cabana. And you know the Cabana. Old Cabana, <laughs> the old Cabana which had so many bands. Yeah, and, so uh, many stories. So you started out basically in Hawke's Bay in, in yeah. Hastings? I was born in Hastings but I, yeah. we, I grew up in Napier okay. and um, joined a local country music club there. I was going to say, very strong country music thing there, yeah. Hawke's Bay, you know, you've got that really, a lot of people love the country music, they and uh, is that what, so that's how you fell into the country music sort of genre, well, rather than rock bands? Yeah, well my parents had, I, I grew up with like um, John Hoare albums, they had like the first yeah. six John Hoare albums between me and uh, my parents and my grandparents, yeah. Maria Dallas in Nashville, and Ken Lemon, and yeah. um, Solid Gold Hits Volume 7, and that was the, and Jesus Christ Superstar, that Jeez, was the extent of our, back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was the extent of our record collection, so um, that's basically, I just fell in love with John Hoare music, then discovered through John Hoare. Yeah. That all the songs he sang weren't actually, they were other people's songs yeah. like Harlan Howard, I discovered yes. Harlan Howard, yeah. Buck Owens, Johnny so Russell, Hank, Hank and Roger Williams. Miller, yeah, Hank Williams, He's all those hero. guys. And so it progressed from there and um, you just started entering local talent quests and yeah, yeah went from there. Because you're just, I mean, I have to look back. I mean, I'm, I'm ancient, I've been around for years, <laughs> as they say. But, uh, you know, there's cloud of dust around me, I'm always yeah. doing that, you know. But um, so you've started out. What year was that? When you you're, you're basically you're born 1972, which 71, makes you, yeah. 71. So I'm 45. 45, yeah. just a youngster, just a young boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember 45. <laughs> but um, anyway, you you did this big upheaval. You made quite a name for yourself here in the country music scene here in New Zealand. Yeah. Well, I moved to Auckland and at the start of the 90s, basically to um, further my career and try yeah. to get uh, some recorded um, material out. And I um, was signed by a company called Sun Pacific Records, which is Mike Donnelly's okay. um, yeah, company. Yeah, Mike Donnelly. Yeah. And um, put out an album called Summer in New Zealand Tonight. And that song just basically seemed to take everybody's imagination yeah. and they really loved it. And um, it got me on to um, different awards shows. I was the first country artist to be in the Songwriter of the Year finals at the Recording Industry Awards. So right. thought, yeah, that was quite good. Yeah. yeah. Got beaten by the straw people, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Where are they now? <laughs> Sorry, straw people. But yeah, so anyway, this would have encouraged you. And um, did you enable yourself to make a living out of it? I mean, did you make a living? I did for about five or years? six years yeah. until I um, fell in love, and then uh, <laughs> and then, then you've got to, you had to get serious. Yeah, then you get serious, and you've got to start thinking about a proper job. Pro yeah, proper job, houses, and that's a drama. real money. <laughs> yeah, mortgage, <laughs> yeah, mortgage, yeah, real money. And you've got family. And I've got family. I've got three kids now. Yeah, three all living mm -hmm. in Australia. Yeah, uh, the first one was born here, and the second two uh, were born over there. So two yeah. ockers. And, and how long have you been in Australia now? Fourteen years. Is it that long? Yes, that long. Yeah. Well, and you've come back to perform though. Yeah, I come back. I try to get back every two years. Every yeah. year would be ideal, yeah. but it sort of yeah. works out every two, I guess. Fantastic. So you're enjoying family life, of course. Yeah, family life's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must miss them when you're away. I do. I miss them this this actually this weekend especially because um, all the the sports started this weekend. It wasn't this planned. Is the kids. To, yeah, the kids' sports all started this yeah. weekend. So I was I booked all these shows and then. Um, 
about two weeks yeah. ago, they say, oh, um, rugby league starting this weekend, soccer starting this weekend, and so, Dad, yeah, Dad, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm missing three games while I'm away. Yeah. Well, look, this will be going up on YouTube sooner or later, so we better say hello to the kids, yeah, and we hope you're doing right. all right. Hello, so kids. Dad is thinking of you. <laughs> okay. Now, you're writing a lot of songs in Australia? Um, yeah, I, but I get a bit lazy. I find that it's, it's when you've got three kids and you try and go downstairs and write a song, it's... Um, there's always yeah. distractions everywhere. It's, oh, it's yeah, much nicer sure. if you organise with a co-writer, because I, I like to co-write. And if you've got someone to co-write with, you go to their house or they come to your house, mm -hmm. and they're there to write a song. So you're basically sitting there and writing. You can't just go, oh, I'm stuck on that line. What, yeah, you what can't. Are the kids, what's happening up here? And then <laughs> you disappear upstairs. And, yeah. yeah, I understand. All right, but uh, in Australia, you've just done an album over about a yeah. year ago. Yeah. Uh, you did a most of the tracks are vocals and I think you played acoustic guitar on it with a band, uh, yeah, the actually, Crawdads? Yeah, no, uh, the, the Crawdads, I did an album with the Crawdads about six years ago. Is that six years yeah, ago, six years ago, yeah, we did that, that album. But the one that with um, Superheroes and Scary Things, yeah. I actually came back and did the band tracks here at Neil Hannon's studio with oh. Neil, Chet O'Connell and Gordon Joel. Great lineup. Yeah, great lineup. Yeah. So we just I'm did the basic band tracks. Just been to his wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just been to his wedding last week. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go on, Gordon Joel, yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, Gordon Joel, that's yeah. right, yeah. But um, he didn't marry Neil. No, he no, married, I hope He married not. Sue. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so then I took the, the band tracks back to Australia and I, I went down to Bill Chambers' studio, who's okay. a, um, he's Casey Chambers' dad, yes. and he's a bit of a, a roots legend in, in um, Australia. And he yeah. put on Dobro and mandolin oh, and wonderful. all sorts of slide guitar and yeah. stuff. And I got um, a guy on. Um, up the Sunshine Coast called Chris Hartley put Hammond organ yep. on and I did the vocals at Brendan Radford studio and so okay. basically it all pulled together and yeah. uh, over 18 months I suppose and the album came out well, about a year ago now yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been working with a lot of Kiwis over there? Have you bumped into a few Kiwis? I've bumped, I've bumped into Kiwis all the time over yeah. there. That, yeah, working as musicians? Um, and there's a few that are over there as musicians, yeah. 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 Most of them are in Sydney so I moved to Brisbane yeah. because that was the only way that I could get Melissa to go over. Was like, well, if I'm going over, I want to go to Brisbane where it's nice and sunny because I don't. Well, Sydney's yeah. just a. When you say Brisbane, you're not down on the Gold Coast. No, no, right in Brisbane. So oh, all okay. most of the country museums are in a place called Central Coast, which yeah. is around Newcastle, just Newcastle, yeah, sort of right. between Newcastle yes. and Sydney. Yeah. So um, that's where the big country scene is. So if anyone's going over there to try to really get stuck in, that's where they've gone. And so okay. I'm a bit further out. <laughs> okay. Well, you're far out, all right. Yeah, yeah. And I know your songs are as well. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to listen to one of your great songs, aren't we? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Glenn, I would love to hear it. Could you tell me what you're going to sing for me? Um, well, I'm actually singing a song that I wrote with Bill Chambers. I, I, yeah. What I discovered is that if you want to write a song with Bill, because he's so busy, yeah. and he's in Sydney and I was in Brisbane, and we've, not, we've known each other since 1998, but I was always, we were always trying to set up writing sessions, but because we're so far away, I thought the best way to get him is to kidnap him and bring him to New Zealand for a tour. So that's what I did. We came back for a tour. Let me know when you're coming back yeah. with him. But, I will, uh, yeah. Well, we haven't done it for a while. No, but, but I got him trapped, and we sat down and wrote two songs, and one ended up on his album. Um, it's called, um, what's it called? The St. Louisiana is yep. on his album. And now on my album is a song called When She Drinks, which is uh, about... Man and woman, actually. <laughs> okay, when she drinks. <laughs> I say we've known a few of those in our time. <laughs> a few personality changes. Anyway, <laughs> you're going to sing that song? Yeah, I'll us? sing that one. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Glenn Moffat with When She Drinks. All wrapped up, I thought I had what I was looking for. She's everything a man could want. I couldn't ask for more But there's a darkness in her eyes That takes me by surprise When the sweetest thing can turn into a lie Cause it all turns sour When she drinks The more she drowns her woes, the less she thinks She's not the girl you thought you knew But when she drinks, what you get is closer to the truth da -da 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 Da-da-da-da-da-da-da 
All mixed up, she's a potent blend of devil and divine. She looks just like an angel, but there's evil on her mind. And if I'm honest with myself, I can't blame nobody else. Cause her only crime was doing time with me Cause it all turned sour When I drink The more I drown my woes The less I think I'm not the man You thought you knew But when I drink, what you get is closer to the truth. Oh, oh, when we drink, what you get is closer to the truth. La 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 Beautiful. What a song, man. You are writing beautiful songs, Mr. Grant Moffat. Thank you. May I shake you on that? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for that. And I'm sure everybody out there loved it. And if you want to go and get the album, that would be really special. Uh, it's off this album here, I believe. Glenn Moffat, and it's called Superheroes and Scary Things. That's a title in itself. It I mean, is. Um, <laughs> Where did that title come from? That's actually in one of the songs. One of the songs in there is a song called Jackie's Song that I wrote okay. with Kerry Jacobson, yes. the ex-Dragon drummer. Oh, yeah, he lives yeah, in Brisbane, yeah. so um, we met up at a gig. He came and drummed with us at a gig, and I um, discovered he was actually writing as well. So we got together and wrote the song called Jackie's Song, and that's a line from the song, Superheroes and Scary Things. That's where it comes yeah. from. There you go. We all know. Yeah. So go out. You can't forget that title. <laughs> yeah. Scary Things and Superheroes. <laughs> 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 Glenn, it's been a real pleasure having you here, but before you go, just tell me, what is it that really drives you with your music? I mean, to, to pursue this career in the music, I yeah. mean, everyone has a different story. Oh, it's probably just the upbringing I had, and um, I realised that when you're on stage, that you can affect, how you can affect an audience just by, through music. I mean, it's yeah. so moving. I get moved by songs that I hear, um, like people like uh, Chris Christopherson yeah. for me, and, um, uh, Rodney Crowell, all those yeah, sorts of songwriters, yeah. just the something that they say can just really go straight to, your, straight heart to your heart and really yeah. touch you. And so um, I like to sort of try and get that effect when I'm playing mm. my own stuff. And, and sometimes you're doing, you know, it's like when you play yeah. live, sometimes you're always striving to get that real connection yeah. with an audience. And yeah. when it and happens, it's just magic and there's nothing that can it, that It's can a drug. It. There's yeah. nothing like it. I That's mean, right. I've, I've lived on it for years yeah. and it's, you know, I still get the vibe and I yeah. know exactly what you're talking That's about. Right. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, Glenn, I wish you all the success back in Aussie. Yeah, cheers. And uh, keep us posted on what you're doing with recordings and everything yeah, else. And that. please, when are you coming back? Um, well, this, there might be something in the wind for January next. Um, next January's penciled in at the moment, yeah. but um, we'll see how we go. Yeah. So looking at that, bring the wife and kids too. Yeah, they, they always wanted to come back. Make it a family yeah, that's, They want to get back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. Thank you, Shane. All the very Thanks best. For Thanks me. for being Thank you. Cheers. Which brings me to my VIP guest this evening. I've got to say, I'm so happy to welcome him here. I've been asking him to come on the show for months and months and months. At last, we've got him. One of New Zealand's best-known frontmen from the 80s, the Sierra Leone man, Mr. Andrew McLennan. Hello there. How are you, mate? I'm very good. Was the McLennan all right? It's, it's yeah, perfect. That, yeah. yeah, that practice paid off. Oh, at last, <laughs> I've got you. And of course, you brought your band of warriors here. I did. Here yeah, they and are. It's good to see this is the new band. Yes. But we're going to talk, got, got to go back and talk about a little bit of history. And uh, what I want to go back is uh, what happened after Sierra Leone, that wonderful, you had a number five hit. It was in the charts for 17 weeks. You were a huge star. And I love the record. Thank you. And um, you wrote it, of course. And then uh, the band disbanded after, what, after two years or yes. something? And yes. it just evaporated, basically. Yeah. <laughs> sort and of you did. were the best newcoming band. Mm. And what happened there? Um, I, look, it's hard to answer. 
what happened there, I suppose, is what happens to bands all of the time. They kind of implode. Yeah. Um, Sierra was a huge hit. Um, it was very hard for us to um, come up with something that was going to equal it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, there was there was that, and uh, the weight of the weight of certain things was coming around. But you know, I think actually the real the real problem was the song became far bigger than the band. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those songs I wrote in a batch. <laughs> so there was, I don't know, 15 or 20 songs. Yeah. And I wrote that one and it stood out. But the rest of the material and the band were, were still young, trying yeah. to get their feet, trying to, and the band wasn't Jim. really, the band actually wasn't up to the, up to the match in a way yeah. um, of playing at the level that we suddenly yeah. found ourselves. Yeah. So. All of a sudden, we had these huge crowds and this one standout song, yeah. which was great. But what we could have done, perhaps in hindsight, which is always really annoying, is practice a little bit more, get a little bit more road tested, and then go out and do the touring. But we just went straight into it. Yeah, I mean, young, from... young, and keen as, and all the rest of it. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, things went things went really well, and then they started becoming very difficult when. The pressure was on to come up with that other, you know, another song that was going to match that. Instead of having the kind of um, wherewithal to just to just to write it out, it was so young, yeah. so uh, uh, inexperienced in yeah. a way, and the that everybody started getting really tense and tired, <laughs> and kind of imploded. And I had I had an idea about the pop mechanics coming back yes. together again, and I really wanted to do that. that. So that was there and. You Stuart, Stuart went off, Stuart the keyboard player, Stuart Pierce, he went off with Hello Sailor and I was really pipped. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. <laughs> yeah, um, which was again, you know, just, just youthful, youthful uh, uh, naivety really. But um, that, when that happened we, we had, I, I pulled in an old mate from the Swingers, Bones, and Bones played with us for a tour or so. And then Bones made this very uh, interesting career choice, went off and joined Midnight Oil. And uh, <laughs> so I thought, yeah. right, oh, okay, I think we'll call it a day. So it's, what, we're talking about 30 odd years now, since the 82 yeah. or whatever. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Such, I've been away so long, it's not a comeback, it's I a mean, start again. a lot happens to people <laughs> in that time, a lifetime, yeah, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got married and, and you've No, no, I, um, I, 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 went, I went there, read the book, got the t-shirt, and <laughs> now the movie's, <laughs> movie's in the, in the it's over there somewhere. So that you have yeah. family, so to speak. No. Of. Now look, you've got some wonderful people surrounding you here. I do. That were just oh, they're marvelous musicians. They are. Uh, we've got Nick on Nick the violin. Here. I found Stephanie. I found Nick here playing violin on the street, literally in, in Browns Bay. Yes. This yes. is the true story, folks. This is true. <laughs> there, camera shot. <laughs> I do have a home. <laughs> so we've got a little street kid here, but uh, if we're looking for a home. Um, no, he's found it anyway with this band. And uh, that we're jesting. T tell me. And um, Tracy, I asked, I asked some musician friends. I had this idea, and the idea was for Sierra Leone, which I was going to do again, you know, after all those years. And I didn't, I, I didn't want to play it. <laughs> I didn't want to play it like we did in the old days. So I thought, oh, wouldn't it be amazing if had an accordion. So I asked people and two names popped up and one name kept coming back up all the time. Tracy Collins, Tracy Collins, Tracy Collins, Tracy Collins. So Tracy arrived and uh, she's part of the formation of this new band and this is what you were looking for. You wanted to it kind of, this, it this, this, this kind of is all a, a lovely happy accident in, in yeah. some ways, right? Yeah. There was never a plan yeah. to put this together. It, it, yeah. it just evolved in a, in a very, very Naturally. natural way, lovely way. Yeah. I asked Tracy to come and do Sierra yeah. with me and, and, and at a couple of gigs, and right? And I asked Nick the same thing. Mm. And the three of us did it. This is just before Steph came yeah, along. Just now before me. And, yeah. and <laughs> we got the um, <laughs> response that we got, yeah. the, the response that the three of us got was absolutely amazing, yeah. and I thought, look, this is something special. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we can do with this. Meanwhile, <laughs> Stephanie was 
somebody I wanted to work with anyway. You weren't on the street or anything? No, no. I wasn't on the street. No. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting to be... <laughs> okay, I'm home. How <laughs> dare I suggest anything of some sort. Cool. Steffi and I were talking about doing um, some musical stuff together anyway, yeah. and it just worked out, the timing worked out, and everything just sort of, like, locked in like a jigsaw, you know, bang, like that. And, mm -hmm. and here we are. So here we are. We've done one gig. Mm -hmm. Which was on Sunday, only a few days ago. Are you doing two now? Because today yeah, well, it's here just we go. Yeah. Yeah. You really are a great band. I've heard you in the rehearsals, and wait till we get to hear them play this song. Oh, you're going to love these guys. <laughs> uh, you're going to start recording very soon, I hope. Yes, yeah. we're ready to go. Yeah. Um, well, should we listen to that song? It's a song that you wrote personally. Yes, a song I, I wrote called "Hiding in Public." It's uh, it's brand new. Yeah. And it's about hiding in public. <laughs> Very special. A totally different sound. The Andrew McClellan, is that right? Andrew McClellan? Yes. It's a sound that you wouldn't expect from this young man, but I'm telling you, this is a fantastic look out for it. We're going to listen to it now. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'll send you a letter down 19 miles of coastline. I'm standing on black. And a barn. There is a taco here. I don't care a winger, so I'll be moving on. Maybe you'll find me some ghosts of my own. I think it's time to stare them down the stone. I had long white dreams. Sometimes less is best I'll let you know how it goes Baby, I'm lying low Lying low Hiding in public Hiding in public I'm lying low Lying low Hiding Yeah. 
beautiful. Hiding in public. Well, there's no need to hide the back somewhere, I can assure you. Andrew, that is a beautiful song. Thank you. And well played, guys. Now, I introduced you as here's Andrew McLennan and his band. What what are we going to call you? We we don't have a name, and it's and it's not it's not <laughs> it's been such early days that we haven't really even got around <laughs> to working that out, right? At the moment, the first gig, the first and only gig we've done to date, we were Andrew, Stephanie, Tracy, and Nick. Okay. which is just sitting fine right now. Yeah. I don't really think it's Andrew McClellan and his band, it's Andrew no, no, and no. it is Stephanie. We're all writing, we're all performing yeah. stuff. Stephanie's bringing songs to the repertoire. Tracy and Nick are adding something that is really quite unique. Yeah. When these two play together, it, it ceases being a violin and an accordion actually exactly. becomes a little mini orchestra. Yeah, it's, it it's truly incredible. It so, does. No, it just I'm loving it. between you two, you know, yeah. on the yeah. violin. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, there's so much musicality to explore. So, in a way, the name thing is kind of the last of our worries, really, but we are going to have to come up with one. But it's going to have to be under the banner of Andrew McLennan for now, because for now. we're sort of... For now. But uh, right now, I've got Clip of the Week, and this week we have a little band called The Dudes. Ah. 1979. Do you remember wow. The Dudes? I do. So do. Yep. Yes, you do. Yeah. Dave Dobbin? Yep. And Ian Morris? Ian Morris. Okay, let's go and check it out. Be Mine Tonight. Oh, one of the greatest Kiwi songs ever written, apparently. About 94th, I believe, in uh, the 20th century. Here, anyway, we've got to move on. But did you see little Dave Dobbin there? He's so tiny, so white and little skinny guy. He must have been on diet pills. Anyway, we're going to move on now. i just going to say thank you so much to my friends for being here tonight. You've been very special guests. And uh, come back again later in the year when you've done the, some of the recordings yes. and got some of these songs in the can. Shall we? Yeah, oh, why yeah, not? Please. Sure. <laughs> okay. Thanks, okay. Right. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you all. Thank you. Well, that's our first show for 2016. Look out for many more. We'll see you same time, same place next week. Until then, keep on rocking.